tree. <laughs> Well, what day is it? Move day. It's a sad day and a happy day. <laughs> no, it's not too sad. Yeah. Rockport's been great, but it's been windy. You'll see some of the video, but uh, so where are we going? We are going east, southeast. We're headed to Florida. Next stop, Lake Charles, Louisiana, and then uh, Pensacola for a couple nights, and then Ocala. I have so. to say, this has been a great great park well weather notwithstanding but otherwise it was great yeah we'll tell you a little more about it but it's a well, it, it really is a great place coastal breeze rv resort in rockport really nice very nice park wind was not very nice but uh we'll catch you when we get to probably pensacola peace out is that what they is that what the young people say peace out Our plans were to spend the month of March in Ocala, Florida, and we also knew we wanted to spend a few days in Pensacola Beach along the way. Lake Charles, Louisiana was about the halfway point between Rockport and Pensacola, so we boondocked in the Cracker Barrel, which was a first for us. So we got up early the next morning and headed off to Pensacola. As we travel across uh, different parts of the country, we uh, invariably run across roads that are well known as some of the worst roads, uh, certainly to pull RVs across. I've already done one of those, um, and that was I-20 uh, in uh, Shreveport outside of, well, just Bossier City outside of Shreveport. And we're about to go on another one. And it's in the same state, unfortunately. So uh, uh, while Louisiana is a great state in many respects, I think we uh, recognize them as having some of the worst roads, unfortunately. We're about now to cross over I-10, which is the viaduct between Lafayette and Baton Rouge. And it's, uh, it's a really rough road. So we should have done a video as to what was on the walls when we started this trip uh, this morning and what comes off the walls. But anyway, here we go, and you'll see uh, what this is like. So far, not so bad, but I know this, I've driven this road without an RV before, and I know the sections that are uh, quite a bit worse. So, just have to go slow and steady, and uh, wish us luck. See you on the other side. That really wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's actually pretty good. No, uh, no truck breakdowns, which is common, uh, or accidents on that that viaduct, which really backs it up. And it actually was a lot smoother than I thought. But now we're going to phase two. Phase two is Baton Rouge. So I'll be back with some footage on that. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty 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 bumpy. We have a lot of expansion joints in this road, and um, you figure what the kind of the length of the rig. And, you know, the real base and everything. We're just kind of getting bounced around pretty good. <laughs> not as bad as Shreveport, Bossier City so far, but we're not totally through Baton Rouge. So we'll keep going and see what it looks like by the time we get through. Well, Pam and I have been through this tunnel multiple times in just a vehicle. We'd never taken the RV through it. There were no signs indicating the height, but we knew that trucks had gone through it, so we figured we were safe. Quite keep the momentum going because of, the, because of the slowdown up here. But we made it through so far. I see sunlight. You may not see it in the camera yet, but uh, here it is.
Pensacola, and as you can tell by the water, quite a bit different than Rockport, but uh, just a different, you know, different uh, feel, but uh, definitely like it here. Pensacola, we haven't really spent much time in Pensacola in the past, it's been mostly the Destin area, but uh, Pensacola is just a little more laid back, but um, just really, really nice, really, really digging the vibe here. So we'll see how this uh, park is. So far, so good. I think we're gonna stay one more day maybe before we head to Ocala. Just gotta we'll have to move uh, move the site, but we'll give you a little bit of tour here on uh, Pensacola Beach RV Resort. Pensacola Beach Resort was really awesome. On one side you had a boat dock and fishing pier with access to Escambia Bay, and just a short walk across the street was the Pensacola Public Beaches. Restaurants were a short walk away, and just a small drive away was the Gulf Island National Seashore with beautiful beaches both bay and gulf side. You don't have to be in New England to have chowder. In fact, we got flounders, flounders chowder in Pensacola. Yeah, but we're not eating it, though. You never know. We're what? just exploring. Why, the why wouldn't we? You got to, you know, if it says chowder, it doesn't say chowder, though. That If it said chowder, I'd have to have some. It says chowder, which is probably the proper way to say it, but you got to call it chowder. So we went over to well, first sunset night here in uh, Pensacola. <clears throat> Got here a little bit late, so we kind of missed it, but it is uh, still pretty out here. Wind's kind of kicked up a little bit, a little chilly, but um, it's, 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 it's an awesome place. Right, so now we decided to extend our visit, and we're here for another two nights. And just have a move, just move one site, or a couple sites over, but that'll be fine on uh, the last day, and then it's off to Ocala. So let's enjoy Pensacola Beach while we can. Well, you notice I was out on the pier by myself. It's a little chilly out, <clears throat> but the um, reason I was out there by myself, I wasn't out there by myself the whole time, but Pam and Mika got a little bit uh, a little bit restless and decided they wanted to come back. And, uh, <laughs> and I think Mika's getting a suntan and Pam's getting ready to go to the, to, uh, to the Siberia. Mika, you waiting for the bartender? What are you gonna have to drink? I just had a uh, a uh, bourbon mule. So what do you think you'd like to have? I like, will have a beer. Did she have a beer ready? Did Mika have a beer? Bye. Yeah, all, right. all right. Mika hasn't figured out how to get a waitress over here, but uh, we're gonna teach her here in a second. If you haven't guessed by now, Pam and I love being around water, and Pensacola is no different. Surrounded by Escambia Bay on one side and the beautiful beaches of the Gulf of Mexico on the other, this stretch of the Gulf of Mexico boasts some of the prettiest beaches in the whole state of Florida.
Thanks for watching. If you like our videos, please consider subscribing. Give us a like and hit that bell to be notified of future videos coming up. And feel free to leave any comments. Thanks again. Coming up next on The Roadsmiths.